So guys, old Donnie's lawyers just made a gargantuan error, a huge mistake last night, and they're just now realizing it, but it's far too late. And this is building on the discussion we just had, which is that, you know, Trump's team was playing a very stupid game, and they're going to win a very stupid prize, because in public they were like, release everything, we got nothing to hide, we want the people, we want the American people to know everything, but in court they were very much afraid afraid of info getting out and now they realize the worst case scenario is going to happen with the affidavit and all of that which is that when something does get released all of the info they wanted to get to their supporters you know names of people so they could be intimidated or threatened or worst that they could be used they could use the MAGA base to basically shut down the investigation that's not going to happen but what will get released is info directly alluding to all of the awful things Donald Trump is accused of doing. Listen to this fantastic breakdown. Judge senses that. Uh, the outrage that has been uh, apparent since the, uh, uh, the word of the search. So I think the judge is trying to find some ground that he can give the people some understanding of what's going on. That is not going to be the classified information. They're not going to get uh, any of this highly classified information. Nor are they going to get really exactly what the investigation is doing or any of the witnesses uh, who are on the line in this investigation, they're not going to reveal those. But what I think they can reveal is the back and forth between the Justice Department and the, the National Archives as, as well in trying to retrieve the documents from Trump and the explanations, maybe uh, allusions to the explanations Trump has given, if any, as to why he had those. I don't think there appear to be any. We haven't heard any. But we certainly know that this has been going on for months before they actually exercised the search warrant. And I don't think that the attorney general would have given the authority to go ahead and go to court and get the search warrant had this not been a potentially dire situation. And that's what can happen with highly classified information. So yeah. I think that uh, we're going to see a redacted document, but it's going to give us some insights, not that Trump won't abuse those and play the grievance role because anything is blacked out. Yeah, and I think it's something that the, the former president's team has started to allude to already, kind of front running what may come out, even though they don't know. Trump is among those calling for the release of that affidavit. But here's what his legal team is saying about the possibility of a redacted version coming out. I'm quoting Christina Bob, one of his lawyers. I think at best, she says, we get almost nothing. At worst, we, have, we get a very heavily redacted version that the, just, the Department of Justice is comfortable leaking very select pieces of information that make it look like they have something more than they actually have. John, would a redacted version effectively water down the understanding of why the search was justified in the Justice Department's view? The redaction is going to be for a very justifiable reason, a reason that has been persuasive to the judge who is inclined to release information. So he's going to have to make a decision that, no, I can't release that. That's a proper redaction. That's national security information. That's highly classified information. That's a witness. Whatever the reason is, it's going to be pretty clear. But it's still going to be a messy looking document. Uh, I, I wish there were a better way to do redactions than they do them in black. I've often thought maybe do them in white. They look a little... I've seen the National Archives actually does many of them in white instead of the black, heavy uh, uh, redactions you get out of the Justice Department. So we'll see. Uh, but as I say, Trump is a master at playing the grievance game. And he and his lawyers and spokespeople will be out saying, oh, this is all just a cover up of what they're really doing, when there will be uh, very good reasons that a federal judge who has no vested interest in this thing, he wants to do what the law tells him to do, and that's what he's going to do. So that was a lawyer who's been at the game for like 50 years plus. They know the deal, and what he said is that you're never going to get actual classified info. The witnesses and the informants, if they exist, you're never going to get those names out here. Those will 100% be redacted. And that's what Trump's team actually wanted out there. 
there. But all you're going to see is references to Trump crimes. Like, why did they have to do this? What was the actual trigger point? You might see that info. You might see the discussions between Trump and his lawyers and the feds and the archives break down. You might see all of these discussions happen in a way that's absolutely damaging to Donald Trump without any of the info he wanted to use to intimidate innocent people getting out there. So fundamentally, this is the worst case scenario. And it's a textbook example of why Donald Trump's legal team is such a mess. Like why his failure to get good lawyers is punishing him because they wanted to play this game and they just lost. Merrick Garland yet again, guys, played Donald Trump, played him like a fiddle. If any info goes out, it will be damning against Trump and it won't reveal a single secret the MAGA mob wants to use to hurt people.